hello. No hoodie on today. It's pretty nice. Uh, quick question for everybody. Does anybody else feel like the squirrels are starting to take over? Uh, we have a bunch of uh, squirrels on the back porch and I just see more and more coming every day. So you're welcome, squirrels. Uh, the weekend metal workout. So uh, just a quick idea that um, Fridays are gonna be kind of a little bit of a challenge, a little ass kicker. So I got some, yes, the squirrels are taking over Cynthia. Uh, so I have something cooked up for next week and we'll just come up with something kind of a little bit more uh, a little bit more intense, maybe a little bit more traditional exercise stuff. Um, so look out for that. I also, uh, I wrote a, wor a warm up for this. I realized I didn't do a warm up. Um, so I'm gonna roll right into the warm up. I'm gonna say hi to everybody who joined us. And then I'm gonna show you where I'll be doing this workout today. So, it's me again. First exercise is your tactical frog with the T-spine rotation. So we're gonna go hands and knees. We're gonna go knees a little wide. We're gonna come down to the elbows. So you wanna rock back until your hips are below your knees. That's gonna help lock the low back. Elbows under the shoulders. Choose one hand, deep breath in. You're gonna look and then push the ground away and rotate towards the ceiling or sky. When you finish that, square up to the floor, reset and go again. So don't think about taking this hand and turning yourself, push the ground down and push yourself into that rotated position. Get like, I don't know, three or five on each side. And again, make sure the hips are below your knees. Second exercise is going to be a four point breathing position with a rock. So hands are under shoulders, knees are under hips, toes are dug in. We're gonna pick the knees off the ground and make sure we can breathe there. And then if that feels all right, we're rocking back and coming back up to the top. I remember when we first introduced that, everybody was like, oh my God. <coughs> now I don't think anybody would blink an eye, so. Uh, enjoy that one. Leg lock bridge. We're just going to be walking, so minus as well kind of warm up a bunch of uh, single-sided things. So leg lock bridge, feet are together, hug one knee, and then push through the ground on the planted foot. If you do any foam rolling before this, this is a great opportunity just especially to get the quads before you uh, before a workout like this. Uh, the single leg bridge is going to help teach your body to find that hip extension that hopefully you're opening up with uh, the foam roller. Side plank. Best way to be successful at a side plank, start in a side plank. So knees are stacked, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. And then we're pushing the ground down with the planted forearm. And then we're driving the knees down and into the floor. So pretend uh, you're at the beach, you're pushing the sand down and away from your knees. So you're not just bridging the hips up, you're pushing down and into the floor, and then I like reaching the top hand up. So from there, make sure the hips feel stacked, and just try to find the place. Screw with your hip position, screw with your head position, and find the place where you just feel the most core, and then that's probably a pretty good position. Get a few breaths, rest, maybe get like three sets of five breaths on each side. Back lunge, if you wanna use a weight, cool. If you have a mace, if you have the weight that you're gonna use for your carry, you guys know the drill. Grip the floor with one foot, step back, pop back up. If that's not for you, marching in place with the weight, uh, standing mace flip, forwards walk, sideways walk, just something locomotion. And then we have your lateral marching cross crawl. And I'm gonna repost the picture that I posted before. So that way you guys have it. So, what am I gonna walk with today? Got the old Perform Better 24 Kig. What's up, Lou? What's up, Stephanie? Take you off this. 
So, this is where I live. <clears throat> this is our driveway. Right, Let's see. If you can see into the garage there, Lucy, there's junk in there, it's my car. And then this is where we're, I'm walking today. So, I'm just gonna go, uh, like I mentioned in the post, I'm going to go like goblet as long as I can, rack as long as I can, suitcase as long as I can, set a timer for at least 15 minutes, uh, and then just walk. I'm probably gonna do about 15 or 20 minutes of that, and then I'm gonna do some swangs. If you wanna do that, and then do um, some explosive deadlifts, some swings, some bridges, uh, you know, if you don't feel 100% satisfied, I think it's a cool way to just like kick your own butt. And then if there's anything extra you want to do, like cool. But I think you've kind of checked the box uh, just by doing the um, the walk. So uh, hopefully you can find a place that's, you know, remote like this. That's safe. Uh, I would also suggest a little bit of something with an incline. So uh, if you don't have any weight, go for a hike if you can. Um, but anything with just a little hill, even if you, if you can't, like, just do, uh, do the steps, maybe hold the bells and hold the bell in suitcase so you're not holding it up in front. Yeah, Lou, 15 minutes of carries. It's going to be fun. So Fridays are going to be a little bit of an ass kicker. Uh, I got something already cooked up for next Friday. You're going to love it. Um, have any questions? And this is a weekend thing, so please, if you can't do it today, uh, take the time to try to find, you know, a half hour for yourself. Um, I was actually thinking of going to my uh, high school. They have a nice track there, plenty of open space to do silly stuff like this. But uh, find some room and go walk. You don't have any walls to slow you down or stop you. Uh, I've done farmer's carries outside like this. I might go with like a Zercher carry instead of the kettlebell now that I think of it just going to have some fun. Go and move your body and um, get strong in a different way. This is the kind of stuff that people will skip because they think it's boring or it's not like, uh, you know, there's no sets and reps. So what am I really accomplishing? Um, don't be a snob. Carries are really excellent. Um, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. If you have any comments or tips or co uh, thoughts, again, how do you feel about the squirrels? They're everywhere. Hey, Jen, thanks for checking in. Go walk, grab a weight, grab Kathy Ryan, hold her on your back. Hey Jess, hope you guys are well, and uh, we'll talk to you on Monday.